me and my dad just had a whole fucking blowout because, you know, he's an addict and he's in there, of course, watching the news and my older son comes up and asked him a question and my dad starts popping off with his Christian perspective of um, what's going on in Israel. And I kindly reminded him again that, you know, what you don't realize is the truth about what in the fuck is going on. And, um, I literally fucking straight up told him, you've been duped. You're in a fucking death cult, dude. I don't want my kids hearing this shit. And, um, he's going, yeah, where in the fuck do you get your information from? The internet? Because that's also true. And I said, dude, I have been killing myself in order to gather you resources so that you, my family, can fucking see the truth from professionals. I told him about Paul Wallace again. I've told this motherfucker so many times that I have been building this YouTube channel so that at least my children can find the fucking answers. And I've been talking to them. I've been talking to them, you know, I've been waiting for my family to grow the fuck up and talk to me about this like adults so that we could collectively come together and talk to the children in our family. And I see that's not going to fucking happen um, as fast as I would like. So I'm talking to my kids um, at my own pace and in a way that they can easily understand because this shit is so fucking easy um, that children can understand it. And I said, dude, I have made about 350 fucking videos so far licking my wounds and trying to gather you resources from professionals. And he goes, you've made 350 videos and you're not getting an SSI check? I said, I think that it's really fucking funny that you Christians think that when somebody does not agree with you, that they need a disability check. But can you imagine if I'm right? Can you imagine how much mental health help you would need if I were right? And he was like, yeah, but you're not. And I'm like, how in the fuck do you know? Um, because Fox News... Um, Fox News is accurate, huh? Um, okay. So, you know, this is just one portal. The Fifth Kind TV. Told about Mauro Polino. Told about all these people. And this guy is pretty much like, <laughs> you can fuck yourself. And that's fine. But I guess I just want to throw it out there in case he's enticed to come check out my channel finally. That, um, just because you don't agree with somebody who has a difference in opinion now does not mean that you can call mental fucking health services again. 
And um, to anybody out there who thinks that people that don't agree with what you believe are crazy. Um, you better check your fucking facts. <laughs> because it's an endless amount of your opinion loses because you've been fucking brainwashed. I literally, the only thing that I want from this is a fucking apology from these religious leaders. They are pieces of shit. They have fucking brainwashed everybody. And my family deserves a fucking apology. The hell that my family would have to go through if they ever had the balls to try to save their own fucking soul. Because just because you believe in Jesus doesn't mean that you get the fuck out of this game. Because Jesus is not in control of it. And um, I don't think that he would forgive anybody's fucking hateful piece of shit fucking mentalities if he were um it's pretty gross the amount of <laughs> information out there is staggering and um yeah i really hope christians decide to stop being hateful dickheads and realize that you're only being hateful dickheads because you're following a hateful dickhead named Enlil. Um, I said, dude, um, you're laughing at the Church of Scientology. He's like, yeah, because they're waiting for some fucking alien to come back. I said, what are Christians waiting for? He said, Jesus. I said, yeah, that's a fucking alien, dude. You are literally in alien cults, too. Period. I can't fucking even. It is super gross. I said, would you be really fucked off if you found out that you were tricked into following Satan? Because, um, that's what looks like happened. And he got pissy with me and stomped out of the house, so... <laughs> You know, just trying to, uh, just trying to help. And, um, I actually am going to be starting a new job this week. Um, I went and I had an interview. Um, typical woman, you know, as soon as I got what I wanted, which was in a, a disability attorney who would take on my case. I was like, fuck that. I'm paying attention to the stars of this movie which are normal people and i was kind of built for the pits of hell so i'm going to go work down in the city of champions pittsburgh aka schittsburg gotham city is what they've done it's fucking worse than philadelphia here i think for the size <laughs> and um no I'm going to go and be a waitress again because in the six months that I worked at this last fuckle job, I've um really learned a lot and um, I'm not fucking collecting disability. Fuck this shit. The fact... <laughs> My family as well. It's not like it's all of the spiritual people that I've reached out to for help spitting in my face. Like, that's not bad enough. My fucking family can't stand it. 